Hello everyone! The fourth video in the Coding Artemis Watch series is here. In this video, we'll show you how to create an amazing game that will train and test your memory. The game will consist of a grid made out of 25 blocks. After you press a specific button, five randomly chosen blocks will light up for three seconds. You will need to remember which blocks lit up and select them later to earn points. Let's start coding. First, let's create all the variables we'll need for this example. There's gonna be 12 of them. Now, let's define most of them at the start of our sketch, as shown here. Great! Now we need to create a function for drawing the overlay. This function will be used to write the current score while the game is still running. It will also be used to write the final score when the game is over. Since the grid is made up of 25 blocks, instead of defining every specific block, we can find a more elegant solution. We'll use a loop for each row and a loop for each column and simply change the position of the block with each iteration, as shown here.
Amazing! Now let's create a new function for showing us the targets. First, the targets need to be randomly selected and then you can draw them on the grid as follows. This last function will be used for drawing the currently selected block. You can name this one Choose. Now let's move on to the inputs. We'll use the back button to trigger the show targets function. The targets will be shown to us for 3 seconds, so we need to define that as well. However, this button needs to work only when the targets haven't already been shown to us. To achieve that, put the following blocks. We'll use the down and up buttons to navigate through the grid while selecting our targets. Keep in mind that we need to define this movement so that it allows us to move into the next or previous row. Also, don't forget to constrain the movement to the grid.
we'll use the SELECT button to choose the currently selected block. If that block belongs to the targets that were shown to us and we haven't selected it already, we need to gain a point. Otherwise, we lose the game as we've selected the wrong block. If all five targets have already been guessed, the target's shown variable needs to be set to false. That way we can repeat this process with new targets to gain even more points. We can define all of that by using the following blocks. Great, now we only need to add the loop forever block. Add the draw grid, choose and draw overlay functions inside. Also, don't forget to include the scan buttons, push frame and sleep 20 milliseconds blocks to ensure proper code execution. Congratulations, we're done with coding. If your code looks like this, you're ready to click on the run button. Press the back button to receive the targets and be ready to memorize them as best as you can. Now go through the grid using the up and down buttons and select those same blocks by using the select button. Did you manage to guess all five correctly? If you did, press the back button again to receive new targets. Once you lose the game, the final score will be displayed for a couple of seconds and the game will start again so that you can try and beat your previous score. If you want to put the stock firmware back onto your device, you can simply go here and click on the restore firmware button.